don't forget to click subscribe and ring the bell button. So for today, ating alamin kung pang ilan ang Philippines or Pilipinas sa 2019 teams. Okay, so teams, 2019 international results in mathematics and science. So teams is the trends in mathematics and science study. So the country's average achievement in teams 2019 is Asian countries like Singapore, Chinese, Taipei, Korea, Japan, and Hong Kong. So we're the top performers in mathematics led by Singapore. The five East Asian countries outperform the other teams countries by substantial margins in 4th and 8th grades. In science at both grades, Singapore, Chinese, Taipei, Korea, and Japan also performed well and were joined by the Russian Federation and Finland. So, nandito ngayon ang result ng mathematics 4th grade. International Mathematics Achievement Average Scale Scores. So, sa East Asian countries, top achievers in mathematics by a substantial margin. This is from teams2019.org reports. So ang pinaka-highest ay ang Singapore which is 625 ang kanyang score. Hong Kong is 602, Korea 600, Chinese Taipei 599, Japan 593, Russian Federation 567, Northern Ireland 566, England 556, Ireland 548. Latvia 546, Norway 543, Lithuania 542, Austria 539, Netherlands 538, United States is 535, Czech Republic is 533, Belgium 532, Cyprus 532, Finland 532, Portugal 525, Denmark 525, Hungary 523, Turkey 523. Sweden is 521, Germany 521, Poland 520, Australia 516, Azerbaijan is 515, Bulgaria is 515, Italy 515 ang kanyang score, ang Kazakhstan naman ay 512, Canada is 512, Slovak Republic is 510, Croatia is 509, Malta is 509, Serbia 508, Spain is 502, Armenia 498, Albania is 494, New Zealand is 487, France 485, Georgia 482, United Arab Emirates is 481, Bahrain is 480, North North Macedonia is 472, Montenegro is 453, Bosnia and Herzegovina 452. Qatar 449, Kosovo 444, Iran 443, Chile 441, Oman 431, Saudi Arabia is 398, Morocco 383, Kuwait 383, South Africa 374, Pakistan 328, and Philippines is 297. So among the countries here, ang pinaka lowest is ang Philippines in terms of mathematics. Achievement for grade four. So lowest po tayo ang Philippines. Okay, let's now have mathematics for grade eight. I think wala po ang Philippines. Wala po tayong entry for grade eight. So top one parin ang Singapore. We have second Chinese, Korea third, Japan fourth, Hong Kong fifth. For the science achievement, fourth grade, another we have our top one is Singapore. As you can see, we have Korea, Russia, Japan, Chinese, Finland, Latvia, Norway, United States, Lithuania, Sweden, England, Czech Republic, Australia, Hong Kong, Poland, Hungary, Ireland, Turkey, Croatia. Canada, Denmark, Austria, Bulgaria, Slovak Republic, Northern Ireland, Netherlands, Germany, Serbia, Cyprus, Spain, Italy, Portugal, New Zealand, 
Belgium, Malta, Kazakhstan, Bahrain, Albania, France, United Arab Emirates, Chile, Armenia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Georgia, Montenegro, Qatar, Iran, Islamic Republic, Oman, Azerbaijan, North Macedonia, Kosovo, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Morocco, South Africa, Pakistan, and Philippines. So, lowest pa rin tayo, no? Ang Philippines is 249 in terms of international science achievement. Okay? So, for the 8th grade, uh, Philippines, wala po tayong entry, but ang top 1 pa rin is Singapore. So, all of the result, Singapore ranks number 1 for the 2019 teams. So, let's now proceed. Ano ba talaga yung mga attitudes ng ating mga students international for these teams? So, we have here first, we have the teachers' professional development needs. Ano ba talaga ang develop ng mga teachers to answer this call or for this result? So, we can have Teachers professional development needs. Teachers reported a sizable gap between their professional development needs and their recent professional development opportunities when asked about integrating technology into instruction and improving students' critical thinking skills. Although in general less than half the students had teachers who reported participating in such professional development, about 70% had teachers who reported needing future professional development in these areas. So professional development when we say professional development, it includes our um, seminars, conferences that we attended, and also the professional growth. We enrolled in the graduate studies, post-grad, and other professional development. So as you can see, we have in mathematics, grade 4, integrating uh, percent of students by teachers' participation in professional development in the past two years for blue, for the red something pink or red percent of students by teachers indicating a need for future professional development so for integrating technology in mathematics instruction 35 percent that is for percent of students by teachers participation in professional development in the past two years for the future it needs 70 72 percent a need for future professional development for improving students' critical thinking or problem-solving skills, 44% for the past two years for the professional development, and we need 69%. Assessing individual students' needs is 43%, 64% future needs for professional development. Mathematics, pedagogy, and instruction, 45% for the past two years, but for the future need, we have 55%. For the mathematics assessment for the past two years is 37%, but it needs 54% for the future professional development. For the content of mathematics, we have the professional development for the past two years is 46%, and 45% is the future need. Mathematics curriculum is 41% of students by teachers' participation in professional development in the past two years and it needs a 44% for future professional development. For grade 8, we have integrating technology into mathematics instruction is we need 71% for the future. Improving students' critical thinking or problem-solving skills, um, there is 69% of students by teachers indicating a need for future professional development. So meaning all of this data were coming from the data of our students who took the teams. So, sila po yung nag-rate kung ano ba talaga yung mga percentage na dapat i-develop ng mga teachers. So, we have addressing individual students' needs for grade 8. We need 65% future professional development. Mathematics pedagogy or instruction, we need 60%. Mathematics assessment is 57%. Mathematics content, we need 47%. And mathematics curriculum is 49%. Ano ba ang attitudes ng ating mga students toward mathematics in terms of these teams? So let's find out. So in the 4th and 8th grades, liking learning mathematics and feeling confident in mathematics were strongly associated with higher average achievement. 
although students generally have positive attitudes, the percentage who do not like learning mathematics was higher in 8th grade than 4th grade. That is 41% compared to 20%. So, mas higher ang grade 8 compared sa grade 4 na they do not like learn to learn mathematics. Similarly, students who feel confident in mathematics have higher average achievement than those who do not. But again, the percentage not confident was higher in 8th grade than 4th grade. 44% compared to 23%. However, most 8th grade students, 84%, reported valuing mathematics at least somewhat. So we have here the table or illustration for students like learning mathematics. Okay. So thank you very much for watching for our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click subscribe for more videos.